The Legend of Zelda series has been a staple in the video game industry for quite a while now. With the initial release of the Famicom and eventually the NES, Nintendo has been a mainstay ever since. The company has always had its share of creepy or bizarre easter eggs throughout many of their franchises, but the Legend of Zelda series arguably shares some of the darkest moments in Nintendo's history. Now, I can make an entire list of entries just from Majora's Mask or Twilight Princess alone. And who knows, maybe they'll get their own separate list one day. But for now, I'm going to limit one game per entry. Ooh, this is going to be tough. And as always, this is just my own personal list, not to be taken too seriously. With all that being said, here are my five freakiest Zelda moments. Number 5, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Blood Moon. In the series' most recent installment, players were shocked when they first encountered the Blood Moon. This was really just a clever way for the game to respawn enemies. Still though, considering this franchise's history with our lunar neighbor, I'd say it definitely caught us Zelda fans off guard. Number 4, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds. Duality. I've said it before in a previous episode of Creepy Gaming, but I feel like most Zelda games deal with a greater duality for the most part. Even Nintendo has confirmed that there are currently three separate timelines, so we're talking about parallel dimensions and infinite universes here. So how does Hyrule and Low Rule fit into all this? And who would have ever thought that all of this would have started from a game about a little elf boy stumbling around dungeons? I'm crediting this entry to A Link to the Past because it was the first to really explore this direction. And A Link Between Worlds because, well, it just further elaborates on this theme. You could credit Dark Link or Shadow Link from Zelda 2 on the NES, but that's a whole nother can of Skatolas. Speaking of which, number three, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Kakariko Village. Now, some of you may be wondering why I added a location to a list of moments, and that, that's a fair question. That's because this creepy village is where most of the game's freakiest moments occur. Not only is it located at the foot of Death Mountain, but Kakariko Village also houses such eerie locations as the House of Skatola, the Bottom of the Well, Dampe and his Po-filled Royal Graveyard, as well as the Shadow Temple where we see the Redeads. Yeah, typically here I would say, enough said, but it only gets worse when you play as Old Link, making this an easy entry on the list. Number 2, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, The Fallen Hero. There was so much to choose from to add to this list. I was originally going to enter Shadow Link and the Tale of the Interlopers, but it's already been on so many of my lists and I'm sure it'll be on plenty more. I've already talked about it to death, so in its place I submit to you The Legend of the Fallen Hero. I've briefly discussed this in a previous edition of Creepy Gaming, but now I can finally elaborate more. During the tutorial of Twilight Princess, this version of Link must train against a character simply known as the Fallen Hero. It was speculated on for years as to who this mysterious mentor was, until Nintendo finally confirmed a popular theory in their publication of Hyrule Historia. In the book, they reveal that the fallen hero was, in fact, the original Link from the alternate failed timeline of the Nintendo 64 classic. Whew, that's heavy. Before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Shadow Link from Zelda 2, Yetta from Twilight Princess, Calamity Ganon from Breath of the Wild, Shadow Link from Breath of the Wild, Shadow Link from Ocarina of Time, Shadow Link from Twilight Princess. You get my point! 
And I'm aware that some people argue that Shadow Link and Dark Link are two different things entirely. But remember, we're dealing with alternate dimensions. They're the same beings. They're both mere doppelgangers. They're just a mere tulpa. That's all ever. Anyway, time for number one. The Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask. All of it. Don't even act like you didn't see this coming. Don't you dare act like you didn't see this coming. Even the honorable mentions didn't have a Majora moment. So of course, coming in at number one is all the freakiness that is Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. You know what? Let's even put the Ben Drown creepypasta aside. And we have Tingle, The Moon, The Happy Mask Salesman, The Moon, The Skull Kid, The Moon, The Giants, The Strange Dystopia of Termina, The Moon! You name it! It is arguable that Twilight Princess could be considered a darker game, but in my own personal opinion, Majora's Mask is the creepiest game in the Zelda franchise. Well, here's your moment, folks. What did I miss? Was there any other freaky moments you thought should be on this list? Thank you all so much for your support. I am Mike Hardcastle saying stay creepy, my friends. Peace.